Here's a look at the 2023 Acura Integra. This is an automatic with the CVT. This is the black, obviously, as you can see, this color looks really, really good in person. And it makes a lot of the proportions look a lot more even, and the car looks a lot smaller, especially this back rear part. It looks really, really good. <laughs> you have to see one of these in person if you can. Um, if you're not a fan of it overall, if you see it in black, trust me, it'll change a lot of what you have seen online. This one has some nice wheels. These are 18s. I like the pattern. Um, there's one other style that they have that doesn't really look that good, but these have a nice little finish to them. And then the pattern and design of the wheel actually just looks really clean, simple. This will look good in 10 years still, which is nice. And of course you can change those, go wider, go bigger, whatever you want to do. This one has the regular leather seats. Um, it's black. It's actually nicer than the red. The red has kind of a plum finish in my opinion. I don't personally like it, but some people may love it. Totally up to you. The front in black looks a million times better for sure. Everything looks a lot more small. Like this car looks half the size just because of the color. Like it's really crazy. And then you have that nice aggressive, just all blacked out. I really like it. And black mirrors. A nice little Integra kind of embossed in there. Paint match there. I'm glad they didn't do like silver or anything like that. All of this is black. This type of stuff here makes a big difference around your window. When that's chrome, some people love it, but if you want a little bit more chill, kind of sporty look, when this is blacked out on a car, it makes a huge difference versus it being silver. Take a look inside. And you do have the blind spot monitoring there. You can see. Sorry, it's right there. <laughs> and then just super simple on the door, nothing too crazy. I like how this is chrome, or not chrome, but kind of like a gray um, finish. It looks really good. This is the type of stuff that matters, especially if you plan on keeping your car for like 10 plus years. If it's too trendy, it starts to date it, but this is very uh, minimal and more just classic looks really good and then everything inside here looks good because this one is not i think the tech package that they have this screen here is a little bit smaller um but it still looks good um you have all of your functions in there and then that looks really good that should look pretty good in 10 years still i mean software would probably be different but overall it should look pretty good and then this is the only thing you'd want to be super careful with and get probably this wrapped in some type of uh, protective film and then that way you don't have all the scratches showing because I've had a car with piano black before that gets really bad over time so that would be my number one advice and then that looks good you have all of the just basic controls you have buttons and knobs for all the main things you need and then of course you can access a bunch of stuff through the screen The one thing that is interesting to me is the back seat. So the car is pretty spacious to be honest, but the one thing I noticed that is different from most cars is the way the um, roof line kind of comes down, it does kind of cut into your headroom. So when you sit, you do sit differently in the back versus another car. You kind of have to tilt, lean in a little bit, kind of lean back like you would in a couch and then you're good to go. But if you just sit completely back like you would in any other sedan you're gonna hit the head um, the roof liner so that's just one thing to note for sure uh, make sure you sit in the back depending on who you have if you have you know family that's always with you that's one thing to keep in mind um, if they lean back when they sit they'll be good to go trunk split trunk space you've got plenty so Here's a look at what you have. If you go with the uh, top trim, um, this would be a sub. So this little cutout that you see here, that would actually be a sub for with the ELS system, which is super awesome. This one has just their base. It's not horrible, um, but it's not as good as like what used to come with some of the Acuras for sure. Those had a lot more clarity, even base distribution and all of that, but you can always replace that. If you can find one of these at MSRP, this is a good deal. If I would not pay, prob I probably wouldn't pay over 4,000 over MSRP personally, because that's a different territory and you might want to consider a TLX at that point. But 
overall, as you can see, super impressed with the car. And yeah, if you want to check one of these out, head over to your local dealership. Because a lot of these cars that you see online, they do look a lot better in person. So that's why I always recommend going in because then you can get an idea. Cameras change a lot of how things look distorted, how big or small things look. So you always want to check it out in person. But there it is. Hope you can find one at MSRP.